GCE 2018 AS Core Mathematics 1 Module 1. We are looking at question 3A. We are solving the simultaneous equations y minus 2x equal 5, then x squared plus 4y is equal to 5. So the equations are y minus 2x is equal to 5 now we can make y the subject over here so we have y to be equal to 5 5 plus 2x so let's call this equation 1 then the second equation was x squared x squared plus 4y is equal to 5 so let's call this one equation 2 now let's put equation 1 and equation 2 so equation 1 in equation 2 So this will imply that this will imply that x squared plus four whatever we see y we put five plus two x so four into bracket five plus two x. is equal to 5 so now let's solve for x let's expand this bracket over here so we obtain x squared plus 20 4 times 5 will give us 20. Then 4 times 2x will give us 8x is equal to 5. So now let's simplify this expression. 20, we subtract 5 from both sides. So we are going to obtain something like this x squared x squared plus 8x So 20 minus 5 gives us positive 15 So plus 15 then 5 minus 5 gives us 0 So on the right hand side of the equation so we now factor this we now factor this so we know that if you two factors of 15 that if you add we get 8 and we multiply we get 15 r 3 and 5 so we get x squared we split the middle term x squared plus 3x plus 5x plus 15 plus 15 is equal to 0. You could have done that straightforward if you know the factors. So now this gives us x x plus 3 factor x out here so we factor x out 
you obtain x plus 3 x out you obtain x plus 3 then there's 5 common to this side so 5 out you obtain x plus 3 here x plus 3 again is equal to 0 so we factor further to obtain x x plus 3 is common again x plus 3 out we have x plus 5 so we have x plus 5 is equal to 0 so this implies that either x plus 3 equal 0 which will give us x to be equal to negative 3 or so x equal negative 3 or x is equal to negative 5 Now, when s equal negative 3, we plug in into this equation 1 to obtain when x equal negative 3, you are going to get y to be equal to 5, 5 plus 2 into negative 3 and that gives us y to be equal to negative so that will be 5 minus 6 and this gives us negative 1 so we have x equal x equal negative 3 y equal negative 1 then we also have when x equal negative 5 so when x equal negative 5 we get y to be equal to 5 plus 2 times negative 5 then that gives us y to be equal to 5 minus 10 and that gives us y to be equal to negative 5 so when x equal negative 5 y is again equal to negative 5 therefore we have our solution to be x equal negative 3 or y equal negative 1 or this so this is our solution set Now let's tackle the B aspect. This is the B aspect. We are solving this initial equation. So Let's see how we can do this. Now, we have a to the power x. Now, the highest common factor of 8, 32, and 1 is 2. So, we express all in terms of 2 raised to a certain index. So, 8 can be rewritten as 2 to the power 2 
exponent 3 2 exponent 3 then the x is already in the index then we have times 32 can be rewritten as 2 to the power 2 to the exponent of 5 then we have 1 minus x already here is equal to 1 is the same as 2 raised to 0 2 raised to the index 0 now because we have exponents this raised to this index we can multiply the now we can rewrite this as a negative index in the numerator so we have 2 raised to 3 all raised to x then we have times 2 exponent negative 5 so 1 times 2 exponent negative 5 gives us 2 exponent negative 5 then all raised to the index 1 minus x so this will give us 2 exponent 0 now the index can multiply so we have 2 raised to 3x times 2 exponent negative 5 times 1 minus x is equal to 2 exponent 0 now we have the same basis here the bases are the same so we can add the exponents so we give them one base and add the exponents so we have 2 exponent 3x plus negative 5 times 1 minus x times 1 minus x is equal to 2 exponent 0 now the bases are the same so we, we can equate the exponents therefore we have 3 we have 3x then this gives us minus 5 into 1 minus x is equal to is equal to 0 so we expand over here to obtain we have 3x 5 times 1 gives us negative 5 times 1 gives us negative 1 the negative 5 times negative s gives us plus 5x is equal to 0 so now we group like terms we have 3x plus 5x is equal to 0 plus 5 so we now simplify to obtain 8x is equal to 5 so dividing both sides by 8, we obtain x to be equal to 5 over 8. So this implies that x is approximately equal to 0.625